Are you curious to know what your money can buy you in Vero Beach, Florida? I'm a realtor and resident of Vero Beach and my team helps hundreds of families identify, search for, and purchase homes here every year. It's our passion to connect our clients with the right home for their needs, being especially attentive to their financial parameters. Vero Beach is such a special place, the sheer beauty, small town feel, and sense of community that it offers. And in this video, I want to share with you what a slice of paradise costs in the spring of 2023. Hi there, I'm Rachel Carroll of the Carroll Home Team and let me take you on a tour today. Remember, you can always reach out with any questions. So first up, let's see what $200,000 can buy you in Vero Beach, Florida. If you're working with a $200,000 budget, you're likely going to be looking at a condominium option on the mainland. There's a few great options like Vista Royale, Vista Gardens, Royal Park Condos, Timber Ridge, or Sandalwood, just to name a few. These are gonna be smaller and older, like in the 1,000 square foot range and around the 1980s um, build year on average. Now, what these condos lack in updated looks and space, they typically make up for with community appeal and amenities though. So take Vista Gardens, for example. The community offers golfing, a clubhouse, pool, and other great amenities. Plus, the grounds are so beautiful and it's so conveniently located close to everything you need. So if you're working with a $300,000 budget, you're gonna open up some more options. Some homes, 2,000 square foot and less, two and three bedroom options, uh, town homes, you're looking at Point West, 60 Oaks, Village Walk, Tropic Villas. Um, for condos, you're looking at Laguna's Grand Harbor. And for some smaller home options, you're looking at Garden Grove, Oak Park, and Vero Beach Highlands. When you make that price jump, you now open up larger square footage condos and townhomes and some smaller single family homes. For condos in the 300,000 price range, you're really looking at communities like the Lagunas, uh, condos, and Grand Harbor. Um, some comparable condos at that caliber. And at that price point, some likely townhomes would include the attached units in Point West, um, 60 Oaks, Village Walk, and Tropic Villas, just to name a few. And some of the smaller square footage single family detached style homes um, that you'll be looking at in this price point would be found in communities like Garden Grove, Vero Beach Highlands, and Oslo Park in South Vero Beach. So let's jump to our next price bracket, the 400,000s. That'll put you in a condo on the island or a more spacious townhome. Think around 1,600 square foot and larger. Um, Vero Lago, the preserve, Harmony Reserve, Lexington Place, and Waterford Lakes. So it will also get you into a medium-sized home, approximately 1,600 to 2,600 square foot range in three and four bedrooms. At that price point, you're buying for more space. Now, if we jump to the 500 to 700,000, you're looking at a more spacious homes, typically updated and move-in ready. Approximately 2,200 to 2,800 square foot, three and four bedrooms, which tells me larger, more spacious living spaces and typically larger bedrooms. You're looking at Indian River Club, Oak Chase, Legend Lakes, Vera Lago, uh, larger homes in more well-established HOA communities in that price range. Now let's jump up to the next price bracket. 700,000 to 1 million is gonna get you a single family home on the island or on the mainland with some acreage. So think something like Hammock Estates or Indian River Farms. Now when you get into the higher price ranges of 700,000 to $1 million plus, you open up a whole new world of island properties that become available at this price point. What you'll also find on Bureau's mainland are um, more homestead style homes like a home with some space and acreage, all right, at this 700,000 to 1 million plus. Um, it really opens up acreage uh, on the mainland and it opens up pretty much the whole island to you. There's many, many different parts of Vero's Island. 
you know, your most popular really is like Central Beach, which is not a structured community. It's more of just an, a general neighborhood. I actually have a video that talks about Central Beach. If you want to check that out, you can click the card up above. It opens up all of the HOA communities, the different condominiums, Oceanside condominiums, everything pretty much on the island opens up to you at this price point. So now we are buying for location, 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 and space, space, space. My hope is that this is helpful for you to gauge where the current market is at. This is not an all-inclusive uh, list. And remember, we are still in the middle of a transitioning market. So by summer, things could and may look a bit different. If you're curious about your own home search, your criteria, and what your financial parameters can afford you, reach out to us. Uh, it's no obligation. Uh, we want to give you advice. We're here to advise you. We can help point you in the right direction to get you started or not, whatever is going to be best for you. And as people who do this every day, helping hundreds of families every year, we can help you weigh your best options. So give us a call. And to make sure you're always in the know, make sure you give that like and subscribe button a click. Quick before you forget.